Welcome back to Darkwood. Before I go out adventuring for the day, I want to make a new weapon. So thanks to all the good stuff that I found yesterday, including two fine cloths, um, an axe handle, or an axe blade rather, and some other stuff that I think I maybe found previously. Thanks to all of that, I had like 1300 reputation with the three, and I used that to buy all the things I need to make a hunting rifle. I've also made sure that every morning for the past maybe like three or four days, every time I buy the regular ammo for the pistol and for the shotgun, I've also been making sure to buy medium caliber bullets because I'm pretty sure that's what this takes. I'm trying to build up a little bit of a stockpile of ammo for it. So, let's make it. There it is. It's worth double what the single shot shotgun is. So I'm going to try taking it with me instead of the pistol, just to force me to use it. See how good it is. I mean, I'm sure it's really good. It's probably going to one-shot anything just like the shotgun, except it probably works from afar as well. At least it better. I mean, it's a hunting rifle. So I'll take those four rounds. Um, other than that, I think I'm ready to go. I'd like to make more light armor, but I can't. I need more of those shell things. But yeah, got the usual weapons, three Molotovs, three pills, um, also a little bit of normal pills that I bought from the traders, just to get my stamina up, so I can run over there faster. I'm going to be taking my military flashlight with me now. Two extra batteries. Which is basically one extra battery, because it's almost dead already. Alright. Let's see how this thing aims. Ooh, <laughs> look at that. So it doesn't aim really faster than the other weapons in particular. I mean, it's it seems a bit faster to kind of narrow down than the shotgun. But the most important thing is that it keeps narrowing down till it's extremely accurate. Look at that. Yeah, I could probably snipe something from like to the absolute limit of my vision. Cool. The only bad thing about this instead of the pistol is I'm going to be kind of scared to shoot it because I really don't want to waste the ammo. It's like the shotgun where you can only buy one round a day. So, we'll see what happens. I don't want to use it on a dog. Ah, it'll be fine. Okay. So, I want to head to the cottage near the junkyard and also, of course, to the junkyard itself because if you remember last episode, we discovered this helicopter wreckage on the map but we couldn't actually find the wreckage itself. It looks like it's off the map, and I couldn't find a way to get to it until I found the underwater passage right here, which I'm assuming leads to the wreckage. Unfortunately, though, we need an oxygen tank to go down the underwater passage, and for that we need the spare parts from the junkyard to fix the air compressor. So I'm going to head over to the mushroom glade and then start to head down to this place here. So I'll bring you back when I'm at the mushroom glade. Whoa! Mushroom man! Ah! Oh, nice, didn't have to waste any rounds. Okay, well... Welcome back, I'm pretty much at the Mushroom Glade, it's right here. Oh! Dig! Ah! Oh. I want a shovel! Give me a shovel! Oh my god, I just need a freaking stick and I can make a shovel. That's two places now that I can dig. Um... Alright, I'm gonna try to mentally remember. There's a place to dig next to the Mushroom Glade. To the southeast. Southeast of the Mushroom Glade. I'll probably forget. Another sort of... Ritual-looking place. It kind of looks like a ritual. I don't know. It kind of looks like roots, but it also kind of looks like it's in the ground. I think it's roots, though. I've just got kind of rituals on the brain because I just passed that body that had all the insects over it, which is obviously a ritual. Hey, wait, what? What the hell is this? Was this here before? I don't remember a building in the Mushroom Glade. Hmm. 
Hmm. Did I miss this, or did it just appear? Ah. Jesus. Fucking hell, this is scary. Alright. Let's bust this down. Why is this so loud here? Does this place have no roof? I can still hear the rain, just the same as before. Whoa. Can I, like, walk here? Oh! Where does that go? Alright, let's do the inside first. Nice. That seriously is so loud I can barely think. I can barely even hear myself. Nothing on them. Whoa. Ah. Ah, I didn't know they explode instantly if they get super close to you. Alright. Crap. I'll take some pills. Feels like my ears are ringing just because of that ringing noise. Whoa, what is that? What are those things? They're moving. This crate's covered in mushrooms. Got it. Whoa. This is really good stuff. What are these things? There's, like, this must have just appeared, because there's no way I missed these two huge buildings, right? Look at all these footprints. Corpse. Something mauled him not long ago. It's awfully thin. At least the rain stopped. Some mushrooms back there. Uh, I think I'm just gonna leave them. Whoa. What is happening? Is that an echo? They locked themselves in the basement. To get food? What? Fuckers. It's our common good? They're in the basement? What happened to them, though? Also look like they were frozen in time, or covered in spores and then just frozen there from it or something. Well, if there's a basement in this place, then, um, there might be people down there. This is a bad way to go. I'm gonna try to go in through the window. More mushrooms down there. Don't really need them. A 
poison is so thick here. More of those growths on the ground. Moving. Whoa. Everything inside the cottage is covered with mushrooms. The floor, even though it looks like it's made of wood, bends under my feet. A white colorless goo seeps from the ceiling and walls. Whoa, more pliers. Key. A colorless key. It feels soft to touch. There is a drawing of three flowers etched on the key ring. Three flowers? <laughs> it's soft. It's been made soft by the white goo. Dissolved. Alright, I gotta dump something. Meat. Before I talk to that person, assuming I can talk to them, the key makes me think of the church. Back in the last zone, the old woods. I don't see how it could be related because I don't believe there's a way to go back. Plus, the only locked thing there, aside from a couple simple wooden doors that didn't really matter, was the basement which didn't need a key but a password. A passcode. But it makes me think of the church because it said it's got a drawing of three flowers on it. And the person at the church, didn't they say something about... I don't know if they said three, but they said like all the flowers for my little girl or something like that. Just made me think of it, but I guess it's not for that. Flowers. I mean, it's the number three, so it could be related to the three. That visit me every morning, which I assume is also the three boys that I found the picture of in the village. No idea what it opens, though. <laughs> Mushroom Granny. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love that art. That's so cool looking. Yeah, she's just like an old grandma that knits, but she also happens to have mushrooms growing out of their hair. And there's even, I think, a couple mushrooms in the ashtray. An old woman sits on a weathered rocking chair. Her sleep is deep and peaceful. A handful of ripe mushrooms grows out from beneath her thick hair. Try to pick a mushroom from the woman's head or wake the old lady. I'm not gonna pick her hair. That's just rude. Let's wake them. The old lady slowly opens her eyes. For a moment, she stares into space with an absent gaze. Finally, she becomes aware of my presence. Wait, you're not... Her empty eyes now take on a questioning expression. I didn't expect any guests. She throws a nervous look at the door on her right, then gazes around the mushroom-infested house. She relaxes a bit. Nervous look at the door on her right. There is a door on her right, which is below me. Huh. She doesn't... She's nervous about me finding what's in there, isn't she? Hmm. I suppose you won't tell me what you want. And you want something since you're standing here in front of me, right? Whoa! Eat the old lady? Um... Why is that an option? Is that how much I've transformed? Is that how much of a monster I've become from all the injections and just being here? Is now it's presenting me with these options? Eat the old lady? Um, well I guess I want in the door. It's the door to my chamber. There's nothing that would interest you there. The old lady puffs her cigarette. Come back when you remember what it is you want from me. 
can still eat them. I wonder if that would give me tons of essence. Irrelevant now since I've maxed out my essence, but just curious. They seem extra mushroomy. Ah, photo of three boys. The woman takes the photo into her hands. Lovely boys. All they have left is their father. Who's their father? The three has a father? Uh-oh. I don't like that. Photo of a road. The old lady examines the photo. Her thoughts wander far away. I remember cars driving along this road. And then they closed it. They set up a fence and a gate, but both the fence and the gate got devoured by the woods eventually. I think that's how it was. Yeah, so they cordoned, the military cordoned off this zone at some point. Stopped allowing people through. But at some point it didn't matter. Doesn't matter whether you open the road or not, trees won't let them out. Would she mind if I just tried to go through? Oh, it's a metal door. It's probably locked, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Such a dreamy atmosphere. Like... It's like a cross between dreamy and nightmarish. The mushroom glade. More footsteps? Footprints, I mean. I think there's some wood there, but whatever. I'm more interested in the footprints. My last battery. Bag. A bag with a missing strap. Someone must have lost it recently. It looks like it's been lying here for a short while. Huh. What if it's from that person? Kind of at the other end of these steps. Oh. I can actually open it. Torn cigarette pack. The caption at the bottom reads, Return South Edge of Swamp. Hmm. So this looks like an opening. In between some rocks. That looks like a boulder that's being kept up with some wooden support beams or something. Some scribblings of a flower and something that looks like a mutated butterfly. Return south. So... Return to somewhere through the south. Could be the hole. I mean, probably not the holes. If the picture shows an opening. And some rocks, it wouldn't be the holes, would it? Maybe it's like here. Don't know. Or here. Interesting. This game is full of so many mysteries. It's just fascinating. Um, okay. So, I guess we're at the edge of the forest now. Let's go south. Try to see if we can find the cottage or the junkyard. We don't have that much time before we have to head home. Oh my god, I think this is the first time I've realized you can actually loot the bodies where it says they've died of starvation. I keep forgetting because it rarely comes up, but sometimes the first click examines them and then the second click searches them. Need to remember to do that. Oh, I just realized it was feeling like I could look further than before. Yeah, if you're aiming with the hunting rifle, you can actually look further. Like, here's without aiming. That's my max range, and with it, way more. Oh, that's cool. So it's actually helpful to aim with this just to see in front of me. 
Like, super helpful. Junkyard. Ooh. Here it is. Although... It says I'm at the cottage, too. I mean, this looks like the junkyard, not the cottage. Should start heading back in a couple hours. Tall, very, very tall pile of junk. So where might I find a part? Can't seem to just, like, loot the place. Maybe the cottage has the part? If they're so close to the junkyard, maybe they've taken all the choice pieces. I still see some at the cottage, though. It's weird. There's no way this is the cottage. The cottage is probably up here, right? Just mushrooms. Wait. What? Just a pool of water. Where's the cottage? Fish? I can... Hold on, I can fish? Let me go dump some stuff on shore. I don't think I'll ever find it if I dump it in the water. Uh, I want to keep the shell so I can make armor. Um, Panish with alcohol is pretty good. I guess I don't need the scrap. No, I want the pills for running home. Ah, okay, bandages. Oh, definitely mushroom. Okay. Received fish. There it is. Does it heal me? Or... I wonder if they respawn at some point, or, or what? Hmm. Interesting. Let's pick up the bandage with alcohol. Do I have one more space? One more space. I'll take the wire. Yeah, so where is this cottage? Where it detects the cottage is apparently a very big area. Well, judging by the map, it looks like the actual junkyard is to the right. I think this whole thing is just the junkyard. Yeah, junk is just huge. New journal entry. I haven't looked at my journal in a while. Let's see. Mm. Holes. Saw that. Mushroom granny. Okay, this is new. I met an old lady in a cottage overgrown with bizarre mushrooms. In fact, she was no less strange than her house. No less strange than anything here. Junkyard. I found a junkyard. Maybe I can find something of value here. Oh, two. Did I just get two shotgun shells? I did. Oh my god, that's really good. I guess I really just do have to search amongst the junkyard. What is that down there? Is that a body? Ew. Seems kind of fresh. Wait! Rocket... Rocket Wreckage! Is that Piatrek? Holy shit, I think that's Piatrek! Oh, Piatrek.
got off the ground, but didn't get far. Is it two separate sections? Oh my god, there's so much stuff here. Like, holy crap. Uh, weapon parts? Uh, I need to head back. I Actually, I need to head back, like, right now. D I just ate the pills, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Holy crap, I really need to head back. Ow, why am I going in the water? I'm gonna head back to kind of explore territory up north and then go to the right. Because I don't want to run through a bunch of unexplored territory, which means new enemies and... Yeah, wow, it's a lot later than I thought. Uh-oh. Oh, bad light there. Oh, doggy. Where are we? I don't know, somewhere around here. Oh, I think I recognize this, if this is the tree I'm thinking of. Great Lake. Oh my god. That's apparently huge. But yeah, I'm just like right up here. Okay. I think. Oh, it's so dark. I want to equip my flashlight, but that takes time. Still says I'm there. I'd rather not be at the Great Lake. Okay, this looks familiar. I'm very close. Still, though, I'm gonna get home, like, right at midnight. Jesus. Whoa! Okay. Where are we? So, just this way. You're fine. No worries. Ah, here we go. We're home! With like 10 minutes to spare! Oh my god. Holy shit. Thank god I set up a bunch of explosive stuff before I left. Man. Okay, well, let's upgrade our workshop since we got the stuff. Can we do it twice? Is there another level? Wait, there is another level? Oh no, can't upgrade it any further. Okay. Let's make some light armor. I need to just dump a lot of stuff, like, real quick. Dump, 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 dump. Okay. Whew. Let me grab this real quick. Exploding barrel, just so I can place it down if need be. Wait, am I seriously going to use a rifle just to set off an explosive barrel? That'd be like the worst waste of ammo ever. That would be terrible. Okay, that doesn't sound good. Whoa. Shit. Damn it. Where the hell did it go? Oh my god. Oh, 
Well, I guess I'm kind of stuck here. I'm gonna take damage if I run through that light. Well, I guess I could dismantle this. Set off the explosive, but all right. I'm gonna go drink from the well real quick. I'm not gonna waste rifle ammo on those chompers, they're not that bad. What's the noise? Oh, it's down here? Why am I trying to locate the source of the noise? I'll just let them come to me. Footsteps. Like wood footsteps, like it's inside. Is it inside? I'm just gonna chameleon just to be safe. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. <laughs> There's two of them. Whew. Glad I chameleon. Ah. Ooh, got some repairing to do. Unbarricaded the door and knocked it down, and knocked out that barricade, and knocked out that barricade, and I got rid of that barricade, but I think I'm actually just gonna leave that open. Alright. Ooh. I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I guess I'm gonna head back to the junkyard and see if I can find that compressor part. I also need to make sure I keep a clear inventory because there is so much stuff to loot from, if nothing else, Pietrek's rocket. Ah, poor Pietrek. <sighs>